There are a number of issues on ballots all over West Michigan today, but only one race for the state Senate. And that special election in Kent County is what political reporter Rick Albin will be focusing on tonight. And he joins us now with a rundown on that. Rick. Well, Susan and Brian, the 28th Senate District covers all of northern Kent and western Kent County. It has been represented for the last six years by Republican Peter McGregor from Rockford. He left office when he was elected Kent County Treasurer. So now two Democrats, Keith Cordade and Gidget Grundyke, are seeking their party's nomination. Grundyke has owned local businesses, and Cordade worked in the auto industry and has served as a Kent County Commissioner. There are three Republicans running, Tommy Brand, Mark Heisinga, and Kevin Green. Bran and Heisinger are currently serving in the State House. Green previously served there. Now, here are some of the things to know and watch for in tonight's election. First, the two winners tonight will square off in the general election in November. The winner there will take office as soon as the general election is certified, perhaps mid-November. The winner won't get much time to relax because the 28th and every other Senate seat in the state will be up for a vote next year in 2022. Not only that, but the district that the eventual winner will represent will not exist in the same form for the next election. New district boundary lines after the 2020 census will change in some ways, most if not all of the Senate districts. Now those districts have been delayed due to census data that has not yet been released. Another thing to note is that no matter the eventual outcome of the special election in Kent County and another on the east side of the state, it will not have an impact on the balance of power in the Senate. Currently, there are 20 Republicans, 16 Democrats. If Democrats could flip both seats, most recently held by Republicans, it would go to 20 to 18. If Republicans hold, uh, their numbers go up to 22. And of course, the split would give each party an additional senator. Finally, turnout and tabulation. In 2020, delays in getting results had some questioning the outcome. Kent County Clerk Lisa Postumus Lyon tells me turnout will be much lower for this election, meaning results should come more quickly. When it comes to counting absentee ballots, it just takes a little longer. And we'll have absentee counting boards uh, working to, um, to process and count those ballots here today. And again, I don't expect to go in the wee hours of the morning. Um, I hope to be done for your 11 o'clock uh, news, um, but it's, I do expect to be home by midnight. And we'll have those results for you tonight on News 8 at 11, but that will be following the Olympics.